recent years, Iran has showcased a growing naval force with vessels it sometimes describes as stealthy or invisible to enemy radars and reconnaissance systems. Today we're going deeper than state media claims to ask the hard questions. What are these ships actually capable of? What does invisible mean in the context of naval warfare? Are these truly stealth warships or something else entirely? Let's break it all down. Iran does not possess a large blue water navy like the US or China. Instead, its approach to naval power is asymmetric, meaning it focuses on weapons and tactics designed to complicate and counter superior forces in confined waters like the Persian Gulf and the Strait of Hormuz. This has led to fast attack boats, missile corvettes, speedboats with cruise missiles, and large numbers of small, hard-to-track craft. These elements together aim to overwhelm or deter larger naval fleets through numbers, surprise, and maneuverability. When Iran uses phrases like invisible or stealth, it typically refers to designs that reduce radar cross-section or make the vessel harder to detect at long range, not actual cloaking or invisibility. Stealth in naval design usually involves angular hulls that reflect radar waves away from the source, reduced superstructure clutter that lessens radar signature, and materials that absorb or scatter radar more effectively. It's similar in concept to stealth aircraft, but significantly harder to achieve on a ship. And while Iran claims these features, there's no independent verification that its ships achieve the level of radar suppression seen in Western stealth designs. One of the most prominent vessels linked with invisible ship narratives is the Shahid Soleimani class corvette. This catamaran-style warship has a twin hull design, angled surfaces intended to lower radar cross-section, diesel engines and modern propulsion, advanced electronics and decoy systems, and a vertical launch system, VLS, for missiles. Iran claims this class offers reduced detectability by enemy radars, essentially making it harder to track at sea compared with conventional hulls. Unlike typical warships with boxy masts and radar reflectors, these corvettes spread radar return over a wider shape, use aluminum construction to lower some signatures, and adopt a catamaran hull, which Iran claims reduces detectability and increases stability at speed. But it's important to understand that. Reduced radar signature does not equal full stealth, they are not invisible to sophisticated naval radars, and they are still relatively straightforward to spot with modern sensors. This means they might be harder to detect at long range, but they are not literally invisible in the way aircraft like the USF-35 might be described. These vessels are not unarmed. They are equipped with anti-ship cruise missiles like Noor, Cotter, or Gadir, surface-to-air missiles to defend against aircraft and drones, integrated radars and decoys, helicopter platforms on the larger corvettes, and fast attack boats stored on board for swarm tactics. This combination gives them capability for offensive strikes, area denial roles near strategic choke points, and layered defense against air and surface threats. Some Iranian commanders have even claimed ranges and missile flexibility that extend beyond typical coastal operations, though analysts caution that such figures may be aspirational rather than fully proven in combat. In addition to the big corvettes, Iran also fields smaller, lighter vessels with stealth-inspired design cues, Abu Mahdi al muhandis Class A, smaller missile corvette, with a catamaran hull designed to reduce radar detection. Zulfigar class air defense boats, fast patrol boats with AESA radars and surface-to-air missiles, potentially harder to track due to low profiles. 
and new high-speed craft like Tariq carbon composite hulls that also aim to lower radar return while maintaining very high speed. These platforms are all part of a broader survivability-first design philosophy, not a full low-observable navy,